West Ham 1-4 Man City, Women's FA Cup, Player Ratings as City Book Wembley Spot. Manchester City booked their place in the Women's FA Cup final for the fourth time in six seasons with a comprehensive 4-1 win over West Ham at Victoria Park. Gareth Taylor's side, who won the Continental Cup earlier in the season, were relatively comfortable after Ellen White broke the deadlock in the first half and booked their place at Wembley thanks to goals from Chloe Kelly, her first goal since returning from an ACL injury, and Lauren Hemp, too. Arsenal Loney Lisa Evans was on the score sheet for West Ham, who dominated the ball in the early exchanges. However, Danny Brindjerstadter's smothered effort from an acute angle was the best chance they fashioned in the first 15 minutes. City grew into the game and started to dominate the ball in midfield, Kara Walsh, Laura Coombs and Carolyn Weir popping neat passes around, and it didn't take long for their pressing game to catch West Ham cold. Kate Yenisvitkova slipped up under pressure from Kelly, and after a long-range shot from Walsh crashed off the bar and ricocheted off goalkeeper Mackenzie Arnold, it was White who reacted quickest to turn the ball into an empty net. England's record goalscorer thought she'd scored again minutes later after a superb City move, only to see her fantastic diving header ruled out after Lucy Bronze was adjudged to have not kept the ball in play. City put that disappointment behind them quickly and made it 2-0-8 minutes before halftime, as Kelly punished a dreadful error from Hammers skipper Gilly Flaherty. But rather than wilt in the East London sun, West Ham got themselves back into the game after pressing City into a mistake of their own. Weir was harried off the ball, unfairly she felt, and Lisa Evans exchanged passes with Adriana Leon before rounding Ellie Roebuck to slide the ball home. West Ham's spirit continued into the second half, but City's overall quality told as they stretched their lead through the impressive hemp. Quiet in the first half, she wrestled the ball away from Lucy Parker, charging into the penalty area, before rifling a low shot in off the far post. White had seen another goal chalked off prior to that effort, but Taylor's side did make it four in stoppage time, Hemp again slotting home from a tight angle after being released by Georgia Stanway. City will now contest this season's Women's FA Cup final against either Arsenal or Chelsea. GK, Mackenzie Arnold six-tenths, couldn't really do anything with City's four goals and made a terrific late save from Hemp. Confident with her punching from set pieces. RWB, Lucy Parker six tenths, did well to nullify the threat of Lauren Hemp in the early exchanges, though understandably her influence grew as the game wore on. Gave the ball away ahead of the third goal. RCB, Grace Fisk six tenths, made a number of good interceptions, and really didn't deserve to concede four. CB, Gilly Flaherty, C, five tenths, a howling mistake on the big stage for West Ham's captain a shame as she competed gamely throughout. LCB, Kate Longhurst six-tenths, covered well for Svakova who was often caught out of position. No nonsense defending at times. LWB, Kate Yena Svakova five-tenths, conceded possession far too cheaply in the build-up to City opening the scoring. Generally looked uncomfortable when on the back foot. CM, Yui Hasegawa five-tenths, on the periphery for far too long as West Ham failed to utilize her skills. CM, Danny Bringer's daughter six-tenths, imposed herself in midfield, but found it difficult to hold onto the ball for long periods. AM, Lisa Evans seven-tenths, the on loan Scott took her goal really well, nipping past the onrushing Roebuck before precisely sliding home. A bright spark throughout. AM, Tamiki Yallop five-tenths, full of running in the opening 15 minutes, but her impact lessened as City took charge of possession. CF, Adriana Leon six-tenths, bright early on, linking up play by dropping deep, and played a fantastically weighted pass for Evans to reduce West Ham's deficit before halftime. SUB, Emma Snurl, 70 for Yallop, six-tenths, not able to turn the tide in the Hammers' favor. SUB, Claudia Walker, 78 for Hasegawa, NAGK, Ellie Roebuck six-tenths, perhaps a little eager to rush out of her goal, making Evans' job to score a little easier. RB, Lucy Bronze seven-tenths, made some lung-bursting overlap runs as City dominated down the right, and also made a key contribution at the other end, putting Yallop off when through on goal with a well-timed shove. RCB, Alana Kennedy six-tenths, in control for the most part, although Leon's movement did cause the Australian, sporting a protective face mask, problems at times. LCB, Alex Greenwood seven-tenths, like Kennedy, Greenwood was smart in the majority of her defensive work. Cut out a few crosses into the box, and her playing out from the back was as compassed as ever. LB, Demi Stokes six-tenths, not overly influential in an attacking sense, but didn't allow Parker to feature much in the final third. CM, Kara Walsh nine-tenths, saw her terrific 20-yard drive hit the woodwork before White turned home. Supremely intelligent with some of her angled passing, and a cut above in terms of quality. CM, 
Carolyn Weir 7 tenths, not at her brilliant, brilliant best but controlled things in midfield for the most part. Find space with ease. CM, Laura Coombs 7 tenths, set Kelly on her way a few times, and generally fared well against Bringer's daughter. RW, Chloe Kelly 8 tenths, stole the ball off Spikova in the lead up to City's opening goal. Took her chance well, and was a threat throughout her hour on the field. CF, Ellen White, C, 8 tenths, bagged a terrific poacher's effort to get City on their way, reacting far quicker than Flaherty and Longhurst. Had the ball in the net twice more, both super headers, but saw them ruled out. LW, Lauren Hemp 8 tenths, surprisingly quiet in the first half, but showed her class with two wonderful finishes. SUB, Haley Raso, 61 for Kelly, 6 tenths, not overly involved as energy levels on both sides, began to wane. SUB, Georgia Stanway, 70 for Weir, 7 tenths, showed good intent from the off, and burst through to set up Hemp's double. SUB, Khadija Shaw, 70 for White, 6 tenths, only had one half chance on goal, but badly let down by her touch. SUB, Philippa Angeldal, 80 for Coombs, NA.